Good morning, traders. The well, the Palo hangover continued with a, another big sell-off for the U.S. equities. With um, risk-sensitive Nasdaq taking the biggest hit, down around 1.9%. Um, this is after a good start. We had weaker than expected uh, employment figures, with uh, jobless claims going up. And good news, sorry, bad news is good news for the equity market these days. But it didn't last as the session went on. Um, we saw the a pretty steady decline across all the U.S. indexes. Um, the banking sector probably took the biggest hit. There was a, a share sale announcement from. Silicon Valley Bank, which uh, stoked broader fears uh, with the banking sector. Big names like Bank of America and JP Morgan um, just getting thumped down around over 5% as uh, investors really fled that sector. Um, FX markets were mixed, US dollar outperforming things like the US, uh, the CAD, the Aussie, the Kiwi. Euro and the pound rallied pretty strongly. Uh, a, a good chart to watch um, is the Euro Aussie, which has broken through all resistance levels and really from a chartist point of view has fresh air from here up to that 162 level where I think the next major level the next test will be um, gold rallied strongly off the 2023 lows found some support there back above 1830 um, though continued strength in bond yields it's gonna to be tough I think for gold to push too much higher it's a bit of a headwind but we'll see how that one goes now cryptos they they took a big hit Bitcoin was down around 2% um, really just following the tech sector down it's just flirting with the 20k level, 20k US dollar level at the moment, where it um, has found support in the past, but uh, yeah, pretty big drop for those, for the crypto complex. Um, tonight we've got the big one, non-farm payrolls. Expected to show an increase of 224,000. Um, after Powell this week, with Fed funds now pricing in 50 basis points at their next meeting, this is gonna even be more exciting than usual. It's always a big figure, but tonight's one, um, especially after what we've had this week. So expect some serious volatility and trade accordingly.